Well, I, I don't think it was, uh, it definitely wasn't our best night. Um, you, you could feel that, you, you know, when we play well and when we're not. Um, you know, and it's, I, it may creep in your mind a little bit here and there, but we have such a good uh, positive energy on the, on the bench right now and in the room that um, it's pushed out very quickly. So, you know, when they got that second one, um, yeah, that was a tough one, but there's not much time left in the game. Anything can happen. Um, all it takes is for us to get one, and you know we'll feel really good about our game. So, um, yeah, I mean, it, your mindset kind of changes from shift to shift a little bit. But the biggest thing is how quick you can get back to, into that positive, uh, positive attitude, and, and kind of go from there. So, yeah, when tough question. Win, when you win in that fashion, does it kind of upset belief that, that something special is going on with this team? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think it just shows that we can win in different situations and. We know we have a special group. We know we have a good, a good team and and uh, really good atmosphere in the room. And guys get along really well. Um, but we're not going to win all those games. We can't continue to get down to nothing and expect to win each game. But you do have to be able to come back in games like that. And um, you know, down by a goal with a few minutes left. So you know, it's good. But um, that's a losing game. So we, we can't be doing that too often. Charlie said that you guys, uh, you and Patrice, look at being shorthanded almost like a power play. You have that, that much extra space in the ice. It, it, for, for you guys, do you look, when you are shorthanded, or a lot of teams are trying to just kill it. Are you guys looking to make changes? I think you're seeing more and more um, guys are trying to take advantage, especially because a lot of teams have four forwards on the ice, and their first mindset isn't to, to play to defense and, and to back check. So, um, you know, when you do get that opportunity, you can, you know, maybe get a, a shot there. But uh, it was a fine line, too, because if you turn it over, then, you know, it's a three on two back the other way. But, yeah, we definitely – have that attack mentality when uh, when we get it, if we have room, then, then we're going to go. So um, that worked out tonight. Okay, two more from our team, our two. Coach talked about how it seems like in this team, it doesn't matter who's scoring, everybody's happy as long as they're scoring. Is there a philosophy that that's going Yeah, on? definitely. Um, you know, we're, we're all very happy for one another. Uh, you know, when you look at teams that are that are good and, and make good runs, it's everyone is, is happy for each other and push each other. To, um, you know, we're just as happy if, if, you know, the defense score or the forward score or the goalie score. It doesn't matter to us as long as we win games. Um, and when you have team success, then everyone has success. So, you know, it goes hand in hand. And, and um, you know, we just we just want to win. That's all we're about in here. And it doesn't matter how we do it. Scott, did that game at the end there have a bit of deja vu back to 2011 with your old friend Roberto there? Um, you know, it, it's fun playing against him just because he's such a character. And, um, you know, he's been around the game a long time, so there's a lot of respect for, for him as a goalie and as a player and as a person. So, uh, you know, you, you, you've seen it over the years, his personality come out and everything. So, uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's a fun guy to play against and obviously a little bit of history, but um, it's long gone now. And, and uh, you know, we try to play each game, uh, you know, in the moment, but you got to respect him. He's had a phenomenal career. Thanks, everyone. Thanks,